critical incident stress management team is, a, is an eclectic group of community members, uh, mental health, public safety, emergency services, educators, uh, who have all taken uh, training to be able to respond in times of crisis. Last year, 2023, our team had 56 different reasons to respond, 56 different incidents. But of those, within those 56 incidents, there was almost 300 different interventions. Some of that might have been group interventions, some of that might have been uh, individual support, referrals, uh, connections of that nature. Last year, uh, the co team collectively through responses and trainings gave back, uh, volunteered back into the community over $91,000 of time and effort. We want to provide intervention to those who have been impacted by the tragedy. So the true concept of critical incident stress management follows the model of postvention. Those those situations, um, you re really think of any times of uh, you or an organization is overwhelmed. So a school system that has a a loss, whether it's a teacher or a student. The CISM program is one of those amazing resources that communities in times of need do, does have access to. And I think that that's one of those things that before you have to use a program like that, you are like, oh, that's nice. And then when you have to rely on them to provide that support after a tragedy or after an event that people are really like suffering from, suffering a loss in any, in any form, I think afterwards you think a lot about like, I don't know how I would have done that without them. We've had industrial type situations where we've been uh, asked to come in and provide stabilization. Our team does respond uh, 24 hours a day, so you call the Hope Line, the 1-800-567-4673, uh, and request the, the contact. Our goal is to be in touch back within 15 minutes of your call, a person agency's call. 